Lord is certainly moving in this hour. With all of the bad news that has taken place this last week, there's a lot of questions about what is going wrong in the world. The world is really in chaos. And I believe that as Christians, we know what the answer is. But the sad reality is, is that most of the world doesn't want to hear the answer. Mike Huckabee was on Fox News for just a small second of time. They didn't they gave him very little opportunity to let people know what the reason for the chaos is, but he told them, good for you, Mike Huckabee. He told them the reason is that they kicked God out of the schools, they kicked God out of the country, they kicked God out of the public arena, and now we're reaping what we have sown. And they gave just a really small opportunity to say that, but he had the boldness to say it. Amen. And I believe it's the truth. You can actually go back and begin to just time and debt set, uh, date set the time from where they took God out of school and off of all of our institutions, and you can begin to see the decline from that point. The degradation and the sliding downhill started from 1964 down. The sad, sad reality and truth. But uh, I was quickly looking on the internet this morning. Just for a brief moment, I noticed that Mike Huckabee was one of the targets of, of uh, news today. And with that little segment of advice that he gave, in just a short space of time, there was so much bombardment against him, saying he's insensitive and doesn't know what he's talking about. And people that don't believe in God have as much sensitivity as people that don't. And, and I began to look at the comments. I didn't break through them, but I noticed that those that were opposed to God and the statement he made were two to one to those who were for him. And it just made me think very quickly about God's word and how God himself said that during the great tribulation period that two-thirds of the world would be destroyed by fire. Just, you know, that's just kind of amazing to me how God knows that two-thirds of the world will die in the Great Tribulation period. I, I just wonder if it's that two-thirds level. I'm not saying, but it's just kind of an odd consequence or uh, coincidence that in society in which we live right now, so much tragedy is happening. And it seems to be escalating instead of decreasing that people don't want to hear about God. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall he when the Son of Man comes. And in the days of Noah, if you know your Bibles, you know that violence filled the earth. Yes, yes. And a repentant man, uh, God, that he had made man. And so there's quite a parallel there. But that's not my, what I've come to tell you today. And that's not my message today. But as we get into the Word of God today, we're actually in a season of thanksgiving and celebration. And even in the midst of all the chaos and confusion and darkness and pain, all of the tragedy that's all around us, we as Christians are in the middle of hope. Amen. There is hope for the world. There is good news still to give. There is a God that loves you today. There's a Savior that died for our sins and rose for our life. That is alive and well. The Spirit of God is in this place to, uh, to just to release grace and mercy upon our lives. And he's in this place today to comfort our hearts. We have a God that can comfort us in our time of trouble. I don't know what people do without the Lord. Because where do you turn in times like this if you don't believe in God? People have tried to, to turn to counselors and turn to, turn to uh, other means, turn to different things. And they always come up short. Only God can come and fill that void and supply that need that people's hearts are crying for today. Um, tragic situation. But, but God in the midst of all of this, has a plan. And he has a way out. There is a hope for our future. There is a better day ahead. Amen. Amen.